This video is an overview of the Trucker's Trip Planning app, which demonstrates to company drivers and owner operators the tools that um, are available on the app. Uh, you will be able to uh, see in other video tutorials how to use these tools. Uh, both company drivers and owner operators can uh, use this app. And with this app, users can calculate the hours of service required to deliver a load and determine the estimated time of arrival and the projected time of availability in minutes. Uh, users can plan uh, their work and rest hours directly on the app. Uh, users can plan, save, and recall multiple loads and after saving them uh, by load ID. Uh, users can email files and open them in Microsoft Excel so that they can see uh, and compile the work that they've done. Uh, users can uh, get commercial truck specific routing. Owner operators can instantly calculate their cost per mile, determine the um, true revenue of the, uh, uh, that's generated by a load, and instantly see if the load is profitable. Owner operators can measure the success of their load selections and how it affects their business. And they can also find available loads in their current locations. Now, this is the table of contents for the app, and this, and also the workflow that you should follow uh, when you plan your loads. First, we'll take a look at the tools that both the company drivers and the owner operators um, should should use. So, first of all, let's look at the hours of service. And basically what this is, is just a place to record the hours uh, of service from either your Qualcomm or your paper logs. And it's uh, simply used um, on another page just to uh, compare um, to see if you actually have the required hours of service. The next page we look at is the dispatch page. And on this page is where you record all the information from your dispatch and this is the driving page for the the bulk of the of the app and as you can see we've already put a load in here just so you can see what it looks like when it's um, filled out and next we can go directly from the dispatch page and we can check our time requirements and on this page, it'll tell you um, all the drive hours that's required for the load, um, the total amount of uh, hours of service, and also it'll total out all the hours to include your 30-minute breaks and your 10-hour breaks. And it'll give you the, um, the time that you need to get started in order to uh, get to your um, shipper on time. And also it shows you your estimated time of arrival at your delivery and your next available time. <clears throat> so we go back. Now, as a company driver, uh, this is uh, pretty much all you need to do at this point. And you could actually go ahead and go to the trip planner and plan your work and your rest. Now, we won't show you this too, but uh, if you turn it to landscape, uh, you'll be able to uh, see the numbers and everything uh, that's on this page and be able to go ahead and uh, plan out your work and your rest. But as an owner operator, um, you need to go ahead and determine if the load is actually profitable before you decide that you want to accept it. So the first thing you want to do is go to cost per mile. And we've also already uh, in, uh, put in our uh, truck costs, our fixed costs and our variable costs. And also our average miles per gallon, the average cost of diesel, average cost of death. And we've already determined what our cost, operating cost per mile is going to be. And with this information, when we go to the trip sheet, here we'll be able to see what the, the actual um, pay that the load is going to actually uh, generate the actual revenue, shall I say? And um, it's based on our uh, percent of load pay and our uh, percent of fuel surcharge. And with this information, this information feeds directly into 
the low profitability sheet. And this is the most important sheet for owner operators because it'll tell you um, exactly whether or not this load is going to create a profit or if it's going to be a loss to your operations. And in this case, you can see that um, this load will be very profitable to me. So from there, both owner operators and company drivers uh, should save the load. Uh, first of all, if you ever want to recall the load uh, to see what you actually done on the load, then you'll be able to pull it back up. Uh, but I won't, I won't click save on here because I've already saved it, and I'm going to use this particular load in a future video. Um, but after you save the load, then you'll be able to check your success metrics. And here, you can actually visualize um, what the load will actually do for your business. And you'll be able to judge whether or not you're making good load decisions. And you can also see where you need to uh, make adjustments in order to uh, grow a successful business. Now from here, both owner operators and company drivers can go ahead and, uh, and proceed on their trip by clicking on the start your trip button. And the first thing you'll need to do is put in your trip settings so that you, when, you, when your route is calculated, it'll be uh, based on your uh, specific truck. From here, we can go to the stops page. And as you can see, this page was actually generated by the information that we put into our dispatch. And it's already calculated um, our routes for us. Uh, by geo, uh, geo location, uh, latitude, and longitude. So the only thing that we need to do from here is just click proceed, and it'll take us straight to the map where we can get uh, specific um, truck routes. And the only thing we'll have to do from there is click navigate. Head east on driving. Watson Boulevard. Then in 0 0.4 miles, prepare to turn left onto US 15. And basically, that uh, concludes uh, what the app can do at this point. Uh, 